Mongoose Jake here with my review of the Omeo, if that is how you pronounce it. I I have no clue, to be honest. I'm going to roll with Omeo because it is uh, spelled O-I-M-I-O. -I, really I really don't know uh, how it's pronounced. I've talked to them on their Facebook page and that was it. I was contacted. Or they put out a contact message for basically a number of people in the nurse community who do reviews asking for people to review these I responded to them and then they got back to me they sent me these at no cost just in exchange for a, a honest review and I'm not going to title it an honest review that's just that is what it is but um, what I have found I've used these in a number of full auto some semi auto flywheels and some springers I have found basically with the two different products they sent me, the four pack of 12 round magazines and the 22 round magazine that was available singly. These are available in a pack of four in different colors and combinations. They sent me two that are the translucent orange and in the same four pack there was two with solid orange sides. You could do, you could do some mix and match there if you want to take them apart. But I found these to be flawless. Just quite simply, these these are dead on, uh, exact basically exact copies. They almost feel like the exact same material as the genuine Nerf. Here's a genuine Nerf Elite 12 round mag. Here's the Omeo. Everything feels and fits the same. There's I have zero issues. The followers work smoothly and quickly. They have no construction issues. You know, very nice follower and. There's no creaking, no looseness. They're put together well. All four of them have had no issues again. And for $13.99, which is the cost of those, they're a good alternative if you like 12 round mags, which I do. I, I like 12 round mags quite a bit. I think that they, they tend to have a better feeling and more uh, consistent follower than 18 round. You know, I use them in some of my flywheels. These, this is the Nerf. And the Omeo, they fit. Now, this is my Modulus ECS-10. They fit just fine. It doesn't matter whether it's the translucent or the solid. I have zero issues and can give these a 100% recommendation. You get four mags for, for $14. With on Amazon, if you're a Prime member, you get free shipping as well. So that is fantastic. You know, four, four mags for $14. Basically, you're paying about three dollars and fifty cents per magazine if you like 12 rounds that's that's a, a good buy so i give a 100 percent thumbs up to that omeo's got a good product here at a good price i will recommend these wholeheartedly i move those to the side for a reason i have mixed feelings on the 22. this right here so far i mean it's very comparable to the worker 22. The uh, Worker 22 has been the staple for people who like high capacity magazines. Same size, basically similar shape. The Worker Mag has the removable uh, bottom right here. That is actually removable. The Omeos is not. It is actually molded in. It looks like it's there and removable, but it's not. It's, it's part of the mold. Now. It loads darts. I'm going to use the Busby Precise Pros. It loads them just fine. And I know people have asked me in comment sections on my videos because they know I love Busby Precise Pros. They've asked me if I have issues with them loading in certain mags and the followers catching because the, the Busby Precise Pro tip is different than most darts. It's a whole different shape. It's more like a, a wad cutter type shape. And it's tackier. Now, this loads fine. Good, good strong spring. My magazine has an issue. And when in the blaster, no problem. Yeah. Works fine. Keeps up. No lag. No jams due to the, or misfires due to the magazine not keeping up with the darts. However, mine's not molded right. My, my top tab has no no uh, notch in it to catch so 
it simply lets the magazine, if you're walking around, it'll split open. And you see darts will get flung out, darts will get caught sideways, and the follower will come up. Okay, so you can push that back down, hold it in, try to get it in there, but just it doesn't catch. And then the follower pop, keeps popping up. And no matter what I do, I'm going to have to actually pull this apart. I have to hold the follower. It's just the tab here is supposed to have a catch on it. Mine's smooth. And, and bent out. And I would have to the epoxy that together. Which I will do. I will do. Uh, but that's the one thing. Is mine actually was molded incorrectly. And there, there's a little bit of a lip there. A little bit of one. But not enough to actually catch. You see, as you see, I can try to force it together, and there's just nothing there to catch. You know, what you heard was the actual two sides kind of bypassing each other and going past each other, but I can't get it to catch. I've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. I'm going to have to take it apart, put some epoxy on the two halves, clamp it overnight, and let it set, which is exactly how I plan to fix it. If it weren't for that, this is a valid option. It is $16.99, and the only problem with that is, of course, if you're willing to wait. I bought uh, I bought my Worker 22s, which I have a number of them. I bought them anywhere from $10 to $15 each through NF Strike. Now, a couple issues with NF Strike is it's not free shipping, and you're going to wait a while. I mean, sometimes up to three or four weeks for your whatever you bought your products to arrive. These are through Amazon. And I know for a fact, Amazon has amazing customer service on all their storefronts. Omeo will be no different. You know, because Amazon has their guarantees themselves. So you've got a no hassle, no hassle purchasing experience for this product. But it is is $16.99, which is higher than Worker. So, do I recommend it? Well, yes, I, I, I still can recommend it because it is a valid option. It's nice. It's well well made as far as what I think is a molding issue that's not going to probably be on anybody else's. Mine is probably literally a one-off lemon. I'm going to show it. I'm going to mention it. I'm going to focus on it because that's what, a, that's what a true review would be. Because you need to know anything good or bad, and that is an issue. And if I was purchasing these and that showed up, yes, I'm going to return this. I, I would. If I was a purchasing customer... I would return this. And I know for a fact, Amazon themselves, if the seller doesn't handle it, they will refund your money. No problem. And they do it quick. I had I had an experience before on Amazon where a seller refused to work with me. And I still got my entire amount of money back. Everything. And they did it within like a two-day period of time. So Omeo themselves may handle it and send you out a, a brand new magazine to replace yours. That would be something you have to deal with them. Me, I'm just going to epoxy this and clamp it and let it let it set. Because once it's in the blaster, it's zero issue. Because the blaster itself, and it has a very nice snug fit. You know, that's you see me holding that. It will not fall out. And that's with it. That's with it actually in there. This is a 22. You know, Captain Xavier, he did the review and he showed that. These fit nice. So once it's in there, no problem. Feeds perfect. Out of the blaster, they're running around. Especially on my pouch, my mag pouch, where I hold 422 round mags, it, it is an issue because if they bounce around a little bit, the darts just go flying. So, got to mention it, got to show you, but I would highly recommend the 12 round. That's a good buy on a good product that's equivalent to, to Nerf. These, I'm so-so on. I think they're a fair option, but also with Worker being out there, offering their mags, you have an either or choice that I would leave out to you. This is Mongoose Jake with my review of the Omeo magazines sent to me for review. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this was informative enough to help you make your own decision on purchasing them. I will put links to both the 12 round 4 pack and the single round, single uh, 22 round magazine. And in the background, my cat says hi. This is Mongoose Jake saying thanks for watching.